So the trick to shaping these is you don't want to cut these big long ones and it is really really easy to lose track of where you are in cutting these big long ones and you miss you lose the star. You still get a pretty um, star but you don't get that star of Bethlehem look. So we're going to start by trimming the, the cross ends first and see if there's a way we can help avoid trimming those big ones. So with your scissors you're going to go in here and you're going to point them starting at the red and point them to the adjacent knot at an angle and trim. And then you're going to go the other way cutting the red twice to make a point. And then we'll go to the top of the cross, do the same thing. And then the other side of the cross. Being careful not to cut the string or any other pieces of straw that are close. And then the f last one is your long tail one. So you want to make sure that you keep the tail long. So I'm going to come in here and trim the sides first. in the direction of the star. I think I'm just going to leave the tail the way it is. Okay, now these next pieces it's extremely important that you don't cut these long ones. So we'll start with the inside. We're going to cut away from these long pieces. We're going to cut towards towards these short ones that are in here that we pulled out. So we're going to go this way first and then this way. Now when we cut this way you have to avoid that last one and trim. Same with this one only cut these three, the middle one and these two. Don't cut that last one. Okay. And now let's do these two. So we're going to start by cutting towards the center first. And towards the center away from the big star of David's. Now we're going to go, I mean star of Bethlehem's, now we're going to go this way again avoiding the star part, avoiding this long one and remembering that we have this long one too cutting over them. last two. Keep being careful to avoid it and being careful to avoid it. And there you go. Now with a little bit of glue we'll just go ahead and and tack the corners and we'll call it good. And that's how you make this ornament. 
And then we will tie, since I had to change the direction of my ornament, I will cut this knot off. And we can tie string to these two and bring up string here and attach an ornament hook on it.